What up, family? Man, I do not know what's in the cereal bowl. What's in the Cheerios when it comes to the comedian wealth? It was a lot already going on before the Will Smith and the you know Chris Rock situation. You know when it came amongst comedians, right? And a lot of comedians that's getting on now is different from that generation of comedians. They more of social media comedians, right? They not TV, and a lot of them ain't on TV yet, but they making a lots of money off social media. And these comedians that's coming up in the game is gangsters now. Like a lot of gangsters turned bloggers, a lot of, you know, a lot of people that was in the streets and wasn't rocking with the internet, you know, was saying they was too street for the internet. Now they getting a check, you know, uh, every month off social media, you feel me? So the pressure of the realness sometimes get behind the comedian. You know, just like the rapper. That's why they end up in jail. Or if individuals end up in situations they don't post to be in and got a deal or whatever the case might be, whether it's comedy, music, whatever the case might be, fam, and end up being in a situation that they don't post to be in like this one. Now, we know comedian Famous Amos, fam. Everybody love Famous Amos. I just seen Famous Amos at a high school, and he had the high school so turned up, fam, with that, that dance he coming there, and then and, and, and he was moving, and, and the kids love him, rocking with him. But see, it's two sides to every story, and it's two sides to every man and woman, and that's a good and a bad. It's a fire and a hot in them. So this situation happened, fam. You can see in this video that famous Amos is slipping. These dudes don't understand. When you got a following, fam, hey, man, you a target. You got to move in a, in a certain way or your life can get took. You can see both of these dudes jumping on famous Amos. You can see one of the dudes hitting him with one of the pool sticks. And famous Amos caught up out of there. A lot of, and, and it happened so fast, a lot of people didn't even know what was going on. And he... And people was on famous, like, why would you, you know, you both, why is you running from the situation? Now, mind you, there's two dudes, one dude done clocked him with a, you know, a, a pool stick. So that, that, that give you clear indication that that man ain't finna play you, play with you. They finna beat you to death. I don't see nothing wrong with getting out of a situation that's uneven. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I see something wrong with putting yourself in situations when it comes to people, places, and things, fam. People be jealous of success, fam. Whether you being a comedian, you know, whatever the case might be, you might try to overtalk them or the women might like you, then you might take the spotlight. And, and, and it's just what it is. These situations can turn deadly. I feel famous Amos, you know, uh, moving around like he did and getting up out the place because we have seen people get beat also. You can lose your life, fam. You know what I'm saying? You can lose, you can lose your life. My big homie always told me if somebody would put their hand on you, man, they they trying to they trying to kill you, go for it. You feel what I'm saying? Just think about that. People can beat you to death, literally. Especially when there's two, three people in the club. You feel me? So the image to have to not to run when it's uneven is a is a foolish image. You know, you got to use your head. But when it comes to famous aimers, you're gonna have to stick to the script. Cause if people that rock with you on a comedian basis, fam. Seeing you in hood situations like this, it take away from the comedy. It take away from the character. In today's time, fam, we need good energy around situations. Meaning just like Country Wayne. I can say that about Country Wayne. He produced good, he, he employing people, a lot of different people, and, and, and he keeping good energy around his situation and on his social media, fam. And that rub off on the next comedian that's coming up in the game. But like I say, a lot of these individuals be gangsters now. People getting lucky from social media. The job ain't hard as it is to do. It got to go to New York or somewhere else. No, I can just push a button. And if they like my raps, they like my company, they like my clothes or whatever, I got a full-fledged biz uh, business. And these dudes making millions of dollars a year off this social media and don't believe that they're a whole target when you get out here in places like this. You would think that these dudes would see famous angers on TV well, on social media and like, hey, man, I see what he's doing with the kids. Salute that. You feel me? I see what, you know, changing his life doing the comedy. But it ain't like that, man. Dudes is in a selfish 
program out here. I don't care how much you're giving back. I don't care what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the community, you still got to protect your life, fam. But I will keep y'all updated on situations like this. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.